Sup sup flappers, here's the video for the giveaway. If you have not entered yet, there will be three winners in total and they will be drawn on Saturday during Jazzy's live stream. The three prizes are one Welkin Moon, one BP, and the tier three gem pack. So good luck to everybody who is entering. Anyways, Rosaria and Child. These two units are to be in the upcoming banner coming in less than one week. And while I know for a fact some of you are watching this for pure entertainment purposes and will be pulling regardless, I do have to urge you, please, please wait. The last banner of any patch for Genshin Impact is crucial for free-to-play players as it's possible to get a sneak peek at what the next rate up holds in patch 1.5. Furthermore, let's go a little deeper when talking about the units of Child and Rosaria. Now, before we get into the video, I know some of you all always mention in the comments, pick who you like. But do remember, oftentimes we get very limited access to these units and who they like visually may not be a good fit for them in the game practically. I've had people message me that they regretted getting Xiao due to how they really like his character design, but ended up not liking his playstyle. While people would then say, well, that's their fault for not testing them out first in the practice. Well, the thing is, the practice mode is heavily skewed and biased as you aren't even able to kit out the units with proper gear that you own, as well as not being able to pair them with units you have built. So in the end, it's incredibly hard to get the full picture without some insight. So with all that said, please take my advice as just that advice. Compare it to other content creators and then formulate your own judgment. And that's what we're really here for. Now with that all out of the way, let's just get into the video, okay? Starting with Child. First, let's get it out of the way. He is amazing. Currently, I have my Child built to Ascension 6 level 80, rocking a solid 4 Hydro on hit build with a 5 star Skyward Harp. My Child is at C0. My Skyward Harp is just at Refinement one. So for any free to play player, it's not out of the question to achieve what I have going on over here. Child is great and pairs well with a couple of my main carries, mainly Hu Tao. And here comes my first warning for people looking to pick up Child. While his late game potential is very, very high due to incredible multipliers, the unit has two main glaring issues. Firstly, he requires you to pour heavy resources to access his power. And second, his short DPS window. While you can ignore his second weakness, you will be punished by having severe downtime with Child's melee stance if you take it too far. And when most people are building Child, they're building him for his melee stance on hit build, as that's just how people see it. With these two main issues, nowadays, people mainly play Child in a more supportive DPS role ever since the release of Hu Tao to be exact, and he is able to facilitate main DPS through on hit vaporize. But of course, of course, there are a few people who have built him as an alt bot through elemental mastery stacking. Is child good? Yes, but only in certain situations with certain team comps. Even when he is good, there are restrictions that may make people shy away from this character. When going for child, you really have to fully understand exactly how his kit works, what you are expecting to get out of this unit, and who you are going to be pairing him with. What team do you have planned for him? Are you going to be building a team from scratch around him? These are all questions you should be answering before pulling him. Because at times, it's easy to search up child showcase and build, then see people doing huge numbers and reactions, then think, wow, I want to do that as well. But trust me, when I tell you that child is a man of limited excellence, he makes you feel amazing for a short period of time. And if you don't have units like Hu Tao or a solid Pyro application unit, your child may struggle to shine. So heed my advice, at least wait until you hear what's in patch 1.5. As Child is at best an A tier unit, he is not in the same league as Venti and Zhongli for utility, and also can't compete against other or newer main DPS like Ganyu and Hu Tao due to his downtime. Now, if we compare him to characters who also have downtime like Hu Tao, he is also power crept because of utility. Hu Tao has a passive which buffs her teammates during her downtime. So it's likely that in the coming months, there will be a bigger gap between new and old units. So with Child done, let's talk Rosaria. 
the girl's hot, okay? We can't deny that. But let's all stop the simping for just one moment here and analyze this. We don't really need to know the details of Rosaria's skill to theorycraft her positions and roles. If she has high base stat, main DPS is possible because she's cryo. Superconduct can make her an excellent, excellent main DPS, just like how Razor works. Just by looking at her skills, she can also be a great support DPS through cryo application. Furthermore, using her as a burst support also seems viable, just from how her burst skill can apply repeated cryo application, even when she is off field. And with each pulse, I'd imagine cryo will be reapplied. So this gives good synergy to freeze and melt comps. It's obvious Mahoyo has thought this one out as currently Rosaria is looking to be the star of this banner. She can seemingly be flexed into three roles and I've mentioned this time and time again, but Cryo is the glue of Genshin Impact reactions. It holds as the centerpiece for numerous team comps and is the most flexible out of everything. It's no surprise that Mahoyo continues to release Cryo units as they are just that good. I mean, if I were Mahoyo, I'd continue pumping out more cryo units even after you know patch 1.4 because it doesn't cost me anything to just sell things that already works perfectly with the current game state i don't have to rebalance the reactions buff electro just to release more electro right cryo is perfect i'll just keep pumping up cryo units so yeah maybe mahoyo is going to release another one i don't know right we don't know so for rosario you now may be wondering should we just go for Rosaria then? Well, here's the thing. The child banner is designed so that it's quite mediocre and it's positioned right before the patch 1.5 banner. Mahoyo at this point isn't even trying to hide the fact that they want to make it as hard as possible to not spend money in the game. I honestly would skip the child banner though. Judging by how Mahoyo has been pushing power creep in new units, it's safe to say any new unit will likely outperform characters that came out before the John Lee banner, and that's just how the game will continue to grow. These new units sell. The community is content with their power, so people, if you don't believe me, at least believe in Mahoyo's greed, okay? Because that's the current state of things. Understand that if you are pulling on Child's banner simply because you like Child, there is nothing wrong with that as well. Please don't let some erotic walrus push you away from your husbando or waifus. I simply speak through my experience with using these units. Granted, I haven't played Rosaria yet, but playing these type of gacha games and analyzing Mahoyo's patterns, I just don't want people to fall victim to what Mahoyo is doing with their banner placements. That's really it. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Remember to check out my video for the giveaway and good luck to everyone who is entering. This will be the last giveaway likely of patch 1.4 as I'm sure we are all looking to patch 1.5 at this point and seeing what it has to offer. I hope you all can make well-educated decisions for the upcoming banner. So with that said, I'll be taking my leave but surely i'll be seeing you all again in tomorrow's video so until then stay safe and peace peace